Anarchism in South Africa dates to the 1880s, and played a major role in the labor and socialist movements from the turn of the 20th century through to the 1920s. The early South African anarchist movement was strongly syndicalist. The ascendance of Marxism-Leninism following the Russian Revolution, along with state repression, resulted in most of the movement going over to the Comintern line, with the remainder consigned to irrelevance. There were slight traces of anarchist or revolutionary syndicalist influence in some of the independent left-wing groups which resisted the apartheid government from the 1970s onward, but anarchism and revolutionary syndicalism as a distinct movement only began re-emerging in South Africa in the early 1990s. It remains a minority current in South African politics. Topic: History. Topic: Early emergence and collapse, 1880s to 1920s. The first notable anarchist in South Africa was Henry Glass, an English immigrant who settled in Port Elizabeth in the 1880s. Glass maintained contact with London-based anarchist circles linked to Pyotr Kropotkin's newspaper Freedom. Based on a lecture he gave at the Port Elizabeth Mechanics Institute, Glass published Socialism the Remedy with Freedom Press in 1901. He also authored The Superstition of Government which was co-published with a Kropotkin tract in 1902, The Social Democratic Federation SDF, founded in Cape Town in 1904 and open to socialists of all persuasions, had an active anarchist wing. A notable revolutionary syndicalist formation was the International Socialist League ISL. Founded in Johannesburg in September 1915, the ISL established branches across much of South Africa excluding the Western Cape and organized the first black African trade union in the country, the Industrial Workers of Africa IWA, influenced by the Industrial Workers of the World IWW, in September 1917. In 1918, the anarchists and syndicalists in Cape Town left the SDF to form the Revolutionary Syndicalist Industrial Socialist League, which supported the IWA in the Western Cape and also formed its own syndicalist union in food processing factories. The ISL and Industrial Socialist League, which developed an alliance, also formed a number of other unions among people of color. While their founders were mainly drawn from the radical wing of the white working class, the movement would develop a substantial black African, colored and Indian membership. The ISL, Industrial Socialist League, briefly renamed the Communist Party, the SDF, and other formations, merged into the official Communist Party of South Africa, CPSA, in June, July 1921, providing many notable early figures until the Comintern ordered the expulsion of various non-Bolshevik elements in the late 1920s. Unaligned syndicalists like Percy Fisher were active in the miners' 1922 Rand Rebellion, a general strike turned insurrection, and strongly opposed the racism of a large sector of the white strikers. The IWA, meanwhile, merged into the Industrial and Commercial Workers' Union in 1920, one reason why that union was influenced by syndicalism. The ICU would play a major role in rural South Africa, as well as spread into several neighboring countries. The ICU began declining by the late 1920s, disappearing in the 1930s in South Africa although the Southern Rhodesian ICU, the Reformed Industrial Commercial Union RICU, persisted into the 1950s. The interim, 1920s to 1990s After the dissolution of the Industrial Socialist League and ISL into the CPSA, there was no active or explicit anarchist or revolutionary syndicalist movement in South Africa. The ICU exhibited revolutionary syndicalist influence, although this co-existed with ideas ranging from liberalism to black nationalism. Beginning with the Durban moment, in the early 1970s, new left ideas began to influence parts of the anti-apartheid struggle. These brought some often indirect anarchist and revolutionary syndicalist influence into the political scene, although often not very pronounced or coherent. A key structure which emerged from the popular struggle of the 1970s was the Federation of South African Trade Unions FOSATU. The workerist tendency which developed in FOSATU, was indirectly influenced by anarchism and revolutionary syndicalism, among other currents. The people's power Tendency in the United Democratic Front UDF paralleled anarchist ideas with its call for replacing state structures with grassroots people's power 
There is no evidence that this strategy arose from anarchist or syndicalist ideas, although the UDF was influenced by FOSATU's stress on workers' control and prefiguration. Following the 1976 Soweto uprising, at least one leader of the Soweto Students' Representative Council SSRC moved towards a situationist position in exile. It was only in the late 1980s that a number of self described anarchists began to appear, many associated with counter cultural movements. Re emergence, 1990s present As an organized movement, rather than a loose smattering of individuals here and there, anarchism only began to re emerge in South Africa with small collectives established primarily in Durban and Johannesburg in the early 1990s. In 1993, the Anarchist Revolutionary Movement was established in Johannesburg. Its student section included militants from the anti apartheid movement. In 1995, a larger movement, the Workers' Solidarity Federation WSF, replaced the arm. The WSF incorporated a Durban-based collective which published the journal Freedom. It also produced its own journal entitled Workers' Solidarity. The WSF was in the tradition of platformism, as opposed to the far looser arm, and focused mainly on work within black working class and student struggles. It established links with anarchist individuals and small anarchist collectives in Zimbabwe, Tanzania and Zambia. It also helped to establish a short-lived Zambian WSF. In 1999, for a range of reasons, the WSF dissolved. It was succeeded by two anarchist collectives, the Bakisha Media Collective and Zabalaza Books. These two groups co-produced Zabalaza, a journal of Southern African revolutionary anarchism. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, activists in these structures were involved in struggles against privatization and evictions, and Bakisha was formally affiliated to the Anti-Privatization Forum APF. On May Day in 2003, the Platformist Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Federation ZACF, or ZABFED, was founded. The early ZACF was essentially a regroupment of local anarchist groups, bringing together a number of new anarchist collectives in Gauteng and Durban including a local chapter of the Anarchist Black Cross, along with the Bakisha Media Collective and Zabalaza Books whose joint journal, Zabalaza, became the journal of the ZACF. In 2007, to strengthen its structures, ZABFED was reconstituted as the Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Front ZACF, or ZABFront. The new ZACF is a unitary federation of individuals, as opposed to a federation of collectivism with members joining via the collectives, like ZABFED. By this time, the ZACF also had members in Swaziland, and was running a small social center in Matsoledi squatter camp in Soweto. With the 2007 restructuring, ZACF became South African only, with a separate Swazi group set up in 2008. This group remained closely linked to ZACF, but was distinct from it. From the late 2000s onward, the ZACF has come under the influence of Especifismo, a tendency which originated in the Federación Anarquista Uruguaya FAO, or Uruguayan Anarchist Federation. While committed to promoting syndicalism in the unions, ZACF work was in practice largely focused on the so called new social movements, formed in South Africa in response to the perceived failures of the African National Congress ANC government post apartheid. The ZACF was involved in the campaigns of the Anti-Privatization Forum APF and the Landless People's Movement LPM. It has also been involved in solidarity work with Abilali Base Myondolo and the Western Cape Anti-Eviction Campaign. In addition to such work, the ZACF is active in organizing workshops and propaganda. Topic organizations Industrial Workers of the World 1910 to 1922 International Socialist League 1915 to 1921 Industrial Workers of Africa 1917 to 1920 Industrial Socialist League 1918 to 1921 Anarchist Revolutionary Movement 1993 to 1995 Workers Solidarity Federation 1995 to 1999 Bakisha Media Collective 1999 to 2007 Zabalaza 
the Books 1999 South African Chapter of the Anarchist Black Cross 2002 Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Federation 2003 Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Front 2007 Topic See also Anarchism in Africa Platformism Revolutionary Syndicalism Topic References Topic Further reading Articles Bonner, P. Division and Unity in the Struggle, African Politics on the Witwatersrand in the 1920s, Unpublished African Studies Seminar Paper, Wits University, 1992. Bradford, H. Class Contradictions and Class Alliances, The Social Nature of ICU Leadership, 1924–1929, African Studies Seminar Paper, Wits University, 1983, Van der Walt, Lucien, Bakunin's Heirs in South Africa, Race, Class and Revolutionary Syndicalism from the IWW to the International Socialist League, Politicon Journal, 2004, Volume 30, No. 1, pp. 67–89, Van der Walt, Lucien, The First Globalization and Transnational Labor Activism in Southern Africa, White Laborism, the IWW and the ICU, 1904-1934, African Studies Journal, 2007 Vol. 66, Issues Two-Thirds, pp. 223-251, Van der Walt, L., 2011, Anarchism and Syndicalism in an African Port City, The Revolutionary Traditions of Cape Town's Multiracial Working Class, 1904-1931, Labor History History Journal, Vol. 52, Issue 2, pp. 137-171, Books Bradford, Helen, A Taste of Freedom, The ICU in Rural South Africa, 1924-1930. Raven Press, Johannesburg, 1987. Drew, Allison, Discordant Comrades, Identities and Loyalties on the South African Left. University of South Africa Press, Pretoria, 2002. Lucien van der Walt and Michael Schmidt, Black Flame, The Revolutionary Class Politics of Anarchism and Syndicalism Counter Power Vol. 1, AK Press, 2009 Topic external links Southern African Anarchist and Syndicalist History Archive South African Anarchism, Archive of a 1990s Early 2000s South African Anarchist Site Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Front Zabalaza, a journal of Southern African revolutionary anarchism Zabalaza Books South African Topics on Libcom.org